on the Las Vegas uh, real estate, commercial real estate, uh, our thoughts are this, they're extremely cheap. Many of those assets are cheap, especially property that's below 100 bucks a square foot, depending on age and, and type. We know there is some cheap hotels in Las Vegas, and I think the next opportunity is really in the commercial real estate in Las Vegas, because as we mentioned in another segment, the single family residential is no longer really feasible right now. There will be a correction, but it will be a slow upward move over the next coming years. So the, the real target, that's where the money might be in the next few years, is to buy uh, commercial real estate in Las Vegas right now. And what, what do we talk about? Mostly like hotels or uh, apartment buildings, like we said, are too expensive already. They are very high up and that's maybe not um, such so interesting or not so profitable anymore. Office building warehouse space is also cheap, you know, just finding the right product, of course. And there's plenty of product out there at the right location as usual. But uh, we think in commercial real estate, another big, big thing will be the resorts. Uh, many of the big corporations are loaded with debt, really. They are loaded with debt, those big casino resort companies. And uh, as I hear, many of them will concentrate on their multi-billion dollar properties, which makes sense. And they will liquidate their um, other properties that are only like uh, several hundred million dollars or half a billion or in that range, you know, between, let's say, 300 and 800 million dollars. And it will also help to revitalize the market, um, the, the, casino, the resort market, the hospitality market here in Las Vegas, because right now the problem that we see in Las Vegas is the big resorts own several of the properties and it seems like there's no differentiation anymore. Um, customer service is pretty much the same. You know, it's like cookie cutter, cookie cutter resorts. Who wants that? A guest needs to have an individual experience and a memorable experience for that. And that's best done with individual operators. If an operator owns one, two, or maybe three properties, that's fine. You know, but once you own 10 or more, uh, there's no per the personal attention to the guest sometimes is lacking. And um, so it's a good, uh, and even cannibalization takes place. You know, you don't want that. So to bring in fresh meat, so to speak, or fresh ideas and revitalize the market, it's actually a great idea that the big corporations will sell some of the properties and uh, the, it will give the market a new, uh, new life. And also for investors, uh, institutional investors or whoever wants to buy those properties. There's an um, excellent opportunity, I think, in capital appreciation, of course, and uh, cash flow and uh, having really prime, uh, prime real estate and prime assets. Many sit on uh, tens of acres, maybe 30, 40, 50, 60 acres. That's again, that price break is also down on the Las Vegas Strip and in the surrounding areas, and it's down significantly. So it's, it seems to be the right time right now to get into uh, commercial real estate in Las Vegas, especially the resort properties. And um, I think uh, people who take a jump will be very much rewarded in, uh, with their investments in the coming years. And their prime real estate right now available, not at a super bargain, but cheap, you know, inexpensive. They're, they're, they're really uh, a good price for what you're getting. And that, that will be the next wave. Uh, that's what we predict and that's what we think uh, will happen.